In this video, we are going to learn about how to create and manage static customer segments as well as dynamic customer segments. So first, let's understand the difference. A static customer segment is a fixed group of customers which can be created by applying filters on the available data. Static segments are segments that don't get auto updated when new data is added via Excel. If you want to add or remove members from the static segment, you will need to do it all manually via Excel import. So how do we create a static segment? When we head over to the left panel and we click on the customer button, here we can see all our customer. In order to add more columns to this view, you can click on this gear icon, which is also called the settings icon and we can select all additional fields that we want to see in our particular view. Also, we can uncheck a couple of boxes to remove a few fields from the view and click on set fields. Accordingly, this view over here is going to change. Now we can clearly see that the data here matches the data we uploaded via our Excel in the previous video. Now, for example, if I want to create a static segment where I would like to broadcast to our paid customers from Mumbai city. This segment can be directly created on double tick without the need to separately filter the data and uploading via Excel again and again. So once we click on this add filter button, we will see the available customer contact fields and we can select from them and put our filter. We can select city and choose the operator equals and match it with Mumbai. To filter our Mumbai customers and then add another filter to further drill down the data. This time we will filter Mumbai customers where the payment status mentioned against the customer is paid. So we'll select payment status equals paid. And here we can see the data getting further filtered out like we do on an Excel file. And with these two filters, very easily we have filtered our paid Mumbai customers. Now we can also click on the create segment button. This will create a static segment. First of all, we will have to give this segment a name. I will name it paid Mumbai customers. You can also choose to give a elaborative description to this particular segment and click on create segment. As you can see, a new segment of paid Mumbai customer has been automatically created and the same in broadcast list. A static segment has been created without the need to import an Excel along with the filtered customers. Now, what if you want to dynamically update the data basis the filters we have applied when you upload next batch of Excel file data in your customer segment. That is also possible with double tick. If in the all customer section, for example, while creating the filter, I am selecting city equals Mumbai again. I am selecting another filter named payment status equals paid and I click on create segment. Now you may name this segment as paid Mumbai customers and add a description for future reference. Now, what is the significance of this checkbox populate this segment dynamically? This checkbox ensures that if in future you upload more data via Excel or other sources, double tick will automatically filter and add more or remove those contacts in this segment as per the added data. If the dynamic checkbox is off, then this segment is created as a one time static segment and any sort of data change in future would not affect this segment. Now you can head over to the broadcast list section and you can see your broadcast channel automatically created by the virtue of the static segment 
or the dynamic segment that you have created in the customer section. I hope this video helps you in quickly using your data to group, segregate and create broadcast channels without the need to multiple times addition of your Excel files, without the need to upload your Excel files again and again. Thank you for watching.